thing I said? No, no, I just, I don't know, something, some, I don't know what's going on with this, uh, anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll turn my notifications off, it, that knocked it off, I think. Anyway, we're, we're, we're back, but I was just trying to get you're you back. to, uh, um, uh, um, if we can talk about this, you talk about 5G, now everybody's afraid of this 5G business, what's, what's going on with this 5G, and people, they, they talk about it's spying, or whatever it's doing, what, what's, what's with this 5G, why, why are people so afraid of 5G? They say it's killing people well, or whatever. Well, there's people that feel like the 5G has to do with this coronavirus, right? And uh, I say the jury is still out, but they did come out with whenever they release something new, hmm. that's when all these uh, plagues have hit us just coincidentally the same year. Really? And the yeah, oh yeah, yeah. If I find something, if I find it, I'll send it to you about that. But like all of, uh, I forget the name of these plagues that we just had in the last recent years, mm -hmm. but then it coincides with the release of like the 4G, the 3G, mm -hmm. and, and things like that. So, and what it is, is that it's frequencies, and uh, frequencies do affect you, right? You yeah, may vibration. not feel it. Or... Yeah, no, I'm saying, I'm saying, saying vibration, you know, but... For me, the world's, when, 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 if you, I don't want to go to the Bible, but when they say, uh, the, first it was the word, or whatever it is, words, they, they mean this first is vibration. So vibration is in everything, to, to be on the planet. Everything vibrates, even rocks, they vibrate. So I can understand frequency to me is vibration, but, but go ahead, what were you saying? Yeah, well, that's, you know, even microwaves, right? Microwaves, you can't stand in front of a microwave tower because it'll, it'll cook you. Mm. It'll cook you from the inside. Mm. And uh, I don't believe in microwave ovens personally at all. No, I don't use from them. What yeah. It, yeah, it doesn't do good. It doesn't. It heats the food up, but it kills all the nutrients at the same time. But the yeah. microwaves are bad for you and radar. So just to give you those two examples, uh, microwaves and weight, radar, is that what we've heard about? So now you've got 5G, and that's also emitting uh, vibrations, uh, signals, you know, weight, waves. And it's got to be closer to you. And even EMF, electromotive force. Mm -hmm. I know in Russia, it's you cannot live within a mile of a power station. Mm. We're here, of course, you can live. I see people living, you know, like they have the power station right in the middle of somewhere. And there's houses right next to it. And, of course, these people that live next to them come down with cancer. Yeah. Well, yeah. they People so, must know that, you know what I mean? It's, it's, so, it's so weird. I mean, uh, you know, you, you died for lack of knowledge, I guess, that when somebody said that once someplace, you know. But hey, oh, man, that's why I'm surrounded by trees now and stuff like that. I'm cool. But, uh, you know, but, but remember, all these things, they usually play place in poor communities because, you know, they, they, I guess they're, they are expendable, you know. So we'll, we'll see what... No, what no, they have, uh, you know, I'm saying j j just where they ha everybody has power. Oh. Right, then talking Long Island. So you have Long Island. Everything is, there's really no wooded areas anymore. Mm. You know, not much. But maybe on the North Shore, a bit much. But say on the South Shore, you have you have to have some power stations located, places oh. where you know they can transform the power, mm -hmm. right? And it's just maybe a, a quarter of a block the size of it. Mm. You know, maybe 200, 300, 200 feet, you know, square. Mm. Right? Because I remember one is right off the Long Island Railroad, and there's a house right next to it. And I'm looking at this house while I'm on the train saying, wow, mm. that looks scary. If you know, if you knew what I know, mm. you would not be trying to live here. Yeah, well, by the way, you do know a lot, man. You know, what, what is your background? What's you some sort of electrical engineer? What, what's, what's your background that you know oh, so much? No. You're one of the most knowledgeable people I know. Well, you know, my grandfather was an inventor. He invented the filament that could go into the uh, tube. Uh, tubes, remember tubes? We used to have tubes in the old days, right? You remember that? Well, you know, what, a, what, what, for the lighting? You're talking about, like, you know, the, the fluorescent like lighting? Television picture tubes. Oh, you know, those tubes. tubes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A vacuum tube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah. So he invented, he was an inventor. He invented the filament that would make that tube last longer. So he, he was honored by the Navy because, of course, they used it in military service. We're talking about 1940s, right? He invented mm. the filament to make it last longer. And he invented, he worked on a few different inventions. And mm. my family has it's come, done some technical stuff, man. He, my cousin designed a manchet 
television network in Brazil. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, yeah, and plus I worked for the telephone company. I was with the CEO on 9-11 in the emergency recovery room. Mm-hmm. Uh, I worked in the Pentagon, you know, and did the teletype machine maintenance. And, you know, I'm a technical person yeah, just yeah. by... Yeah, I know, yeah. I, I've always done technical stuff just by the cuff, just growing up as a kid. Like, even when I was a, a kid living in the project, I got a hold of some telephone equipment and made a personal intercom to the seventh floor from the third floor <laughs> out the window of the projects where I could press a button and the buzzer would, you know, sound in, eh, which would tell Eddie to pick up the phone that I designed. Uh-huh. And, and we could talk, hey, you want to come out and play? So wow. that, I've always done those kind of electronic things. How, how, Stevie D, how, how old were you when, when you did that, when you were talking to Eddie? Talking to Eddie, I was uh, 13, mm. something like that. Okay. I mean, I'm very, very technical. You know, my daughter is a scientist, mm. you know, oh. a chemical engineer, doctor. Mm. You know, she had a full scholarship to get her doctor, uh, to get the, uh, to had a full scholarship to Howard University to get a bachelor's. Mm-hmm. And then she won the, uh, she was elected president of the Engineering Honor Society. Uh, and then from there, best project was the best project in the whole deal, mm-hmm. right? And then she got a full scholarship to, to get a doctorate at the University of Michigan, where she won the Ford Foundation Award and the National Science Foundation Award. And because the National Science Foundation Award gives you $35,000 extra, plus they were paying her already at the university, mm-hmm. She flew me out to Michigan to see her get another award. And now, presently, she is at Carnegie Mellon with a presidential fellowship mm-hmm. working on her chemical engineer project, which mm-hmm. I can't tell you much about it because it's so complicated. I don't, I, I don't know where I would start. <laughs> well, here, but the, but the long, long story, a little bit longer, a long story, however they say it. You know, in other words, you, it's in your lineage, man. You, it, we can't, yeah, it is. It's, it it's is in your real. lineage. You can't get it, which, which, is, which is super interesting because I, I insist... I, I I got I started really even before ADOS I started to think about lineage because I've actually always thought about because my my family has this whole weird thing about not only some cunningness and survival and 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 being focused on whatever you're doing whatever it is we are really good at what we do if we're a criminal we're good at criminology if you're doing medicals do good at that whatever it is it takes us a, it takes me a while it takes us a while but whatever it is we're really good at it because i don't know why but it's your lineage that counts you know it's really very very interesting i, I believe that you know so listen cbd i gotta talk to you again with time but you know the other reason why i'm have a have a, I'm, i got my travel thing because i like anything, I, I, you know me, I, I say, you know, prepare, preparation is everything. You know my sayings, like prepare yourself. And I, as, as you yeah. know, and hopefully, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll talk later, we'll talk another time about this, but I got a trip at the end of the end of the year, you know, hopefully they'll let me through Canada, but I'm taking my, because I love trains, I love train travel, and so I'm taking me a nice train travel since I'm stuck here in the U.S., US you know, North America. I need to get back, I'm trying to get back to South Africa, where I live, but you know, uh, but anyway, so I'm, I'm, I'm just practicing drinking out my, my travel cup because I'm ready to travel, you know, <laughs> and by the way, I'll be yeah. back, I'll, yeah, I'll be back in New York in October, I'll see you then probably. Oh, uh, okay, well, in, in October, and then uh, when is this uh, November, you're going uh, on the train to Seattle? No, no, no. I gotta, I, I gotta go to Virginia with, be, be, no, you know, uh, with Thanksgiving with my sister and you know, my, not that part of the family. Uh, but this is uh, gonna be, it's gonna be over Christmas. Like, oh, okay. like I think, uh, right? At, I think I'll be back here in minute in in, um, in in Missouri. I'm gonna go to probably in East St. Louis for for right after yeah for Christmas because they're, they're doing Kwanzaa because you know one of the big Kwanzaa heads here is um, Eugene B. Redmond. You know, right straight from the from the whole Karenga, you know, uh, of lineage of, of Kwanzaa. So they do it big here. So I probably do Kwanzaa here for at least a few days. But then I think about the twenty seventh or something like that, I jump on a train uh, from Chicago to to Seattle, and then I'm trying to get off across the border okay. to, to Vancouver, and then take this long train ride to. Uh, Is that to, January? You say? Yeah, for beginning. It's the first. Tra- Is it? It's one of these long train rides that they. The first one they start is in January. You know what I mean? So like, okay. So probably uh, New, uh, New Year's Eve, which I always, you know, I love being out of the country. New Year's Eve, I'll be, I'll be, I'll yeah. be, in, I'll be in Vancouver. So I'll be hanging out with the Vancouverites, hopefully. Well, wait a minute. You're not going to 
be in Vancouver if you start in January because New Year's Eve is uh, January 1st, so you're talking December. No, no, no. Okay, you, look, now you're going to try to be... No, no, you can't be technical. man. I'm saying to you, I'm taking a train. I'm from, I think the 27th of December, I take the train to Seattle. and So I'm there by the 29th, 30th, somewhere around there. Somewhere around there, I'll be... Uh, or maybe it's the 29th. Anyway, New Year's Eve, okay. somehow I crossed the border that New Year's Eve day or the day before, and I'll be at a hotel and for New Year's Eve. I'll be at a hotel. That train ride starts on the 1st of January. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, it, it does start on the 1st? That's right. It's like a four-day fire, whatever it is, to, to Toronto. So I'll go to Toronto. I, I've always wanted to take this long train ride, so I'm going to do it. But, you know, I'm going to travel like, I'm going to travel, you know, coach because I'm that kind of guy. Plus, the day of COVID, you know, so they give you the whole two seats because they can have social distancing, you know what I'm saying? So, I'll, yes. Hey, if you're going to take a train, now is the time, dude. They got good social distancing. Hey, you know, every you laid out, oh, man, it's, train travel is wonderful. Maybe I shouldn't say that, but you know, let's see what happens. Okay, man, so I'll check you later, all right? Okay.